When Gary was injured in a gardening accident, he was told he'd never walk again. Life, confined to a wheelchair, was not a prognosis he was willing to accept. Well, look at him now. Need a chest. Need a chest. Good. I'm coming off. You're coming off? You're taking the steps. And the doctor came in and said to me, yeah, it's unlikely you'll walk again. The entire spine is, is chopped. Obviously, that was, you know, kicking the, kick the guts and devastating. Gary and Jen's home is a place of laughter and kindness. I'm making a cuppa. Would yep, you like please. something? Yes, cuppa. please. Coffee, please. There's no complaining. What frustrates it that you can't do? Sip gardening. Gardening, you can, we've got the, the little pot around the back there, which yeah. we the garden, you know, the garden. Just general looking up, okay, mowing the lawn. And now, if I could mow yeah. the lawn, I'd be like, what oh, you God, give. what I would give to be able to mow the lawn. Just determination. So it, ha but it hasn't been long and you've come a bloody long way. Um, I, I try to, I don't know. I, I reckon I you have. I just do what I do. Gary has come a long way. He's a man who loves the outdoors, boating and bushwalks, cycling, and of course, time with his children and grandchildren. But on February 25, 2023, everything changed. He was at his parents, helping out in the garden, trimming branches. So just helping him, standing on a, on a wall, not very high, it's only two metres high, just trimming down the bits and pieces, and then, um, when I went to get down, instead of going one way, I went the other. And then whoosh, over the side, did a little bit of a fall, half pike trip, whatever you want to call it. Mm. Landed on the medium strip. Was there a moment, Gary, when you thought, I've done something really bad here? I heard the crack. I knew there was an enormous crack, but I didn't actually know what was going on. Gary had severed his spinal cord, a complete paraplegic in hospital for six months. When he went home, it was to a much different life. And Jen, this is your husband. This is the man you love. It's still Gary, but it's a different Gary, isn't it? Honestly, it's a shock, such a, sh a shock to the point that um, just didn't anything seem real. That whole six months, to see Gaz incapacitated in that way um, and scared and, um, can't even sit up to give you a pro you know a proper hug and a and a squeeze. With Jen by his side, Gary set about finding a way to walk, and that's when he wheeled in to RoboFit in Sydney South. How are you doing? Nice to see you again. See you again. Here he trains with Geordie and the RoboFit exoskeleton. So as I bend and flex my bicep. The robot's responding to that, and then as I straighten my arm, the robot's responding to that as well. So yeah. you're controlling the robot. Yep. The robot isn't controlling no, you. No, yeah, exactly. Electrodes are placed on the skin to pick up the messages Gary's brain is sending his muscles. Then the robot helps him complete the movement. At first, it's on a treadmill. Yeah, just focus on the um, on the flexion. Watching on is truly remarkable. It's a bit of a workout though, isn't it? It's a great workout. You get the cardio as well. Exactly. So, so it uh, makes uh, the evening beer even better when I get home. <laughs> You've I, deserved it. You yeah. deserved yeah. it. <laughs> then, little by little... Drive near the chest. Go. Keep pressure in that one foot. Yeah. He's walking on solid ground. RoboFit is the life's work of exercise scientist Marianne and her husband Dan. He's got an incredible mindset, doesn't he? He does, and it's one of those things you need to have. Dan, also in a chair after an accident in 2010. This is opportunity and hope and purpose and, yep. and all those positive things that, that we all need, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. Um, my personal motto, never say never. Um, I was told by the doctors back then when I was in hospital, I'll never move from my neck down again. And, you know, I'm standing on my brain, I can walk. Dan is nothing short of inspiration. After months of training in secret, eight years ago, he surprised his bride, Marianne, standing 
for their first dance at their wedding. Now, it's Gary's turn to do what he was told was impossible. What's the goal here? What's, what's the dream? Well, at the end of the day, I accept that I'll be in this little puppy forever. This thing won't be going away. I would love to be able to say, to be able to wake up in the morning, walk down the stairs and be... Make me a cup of tea in the morning. Make a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. I With Jen by his side. She's a good woman, Jen, oh, isn't she? Yes, yes. Yeah, Some, say, sometimes she's she is a good woman. Yeah. I'm on my best behaviour today. Yeah. <laughs> Gary's got his eyes on the prize. There's no way in the world I'm, I'm going to not walk again. And Gary will be back <laughs> yeah. for that cup of tea. Yeah, it's amazing to see you up and about like that, Gary. It says so much about your determination and your outlook on life.